Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I'm back again, and um, I'm gonna try to start posting every week. Now, it's gonna be more like discussion videos like this where I talk about the way I've been playing and showing y'all how to get better with Lucas. So right here, I'm fighting against a Kazuya, or yeah, a Kazuya, and I'm going to show y'all about how I've been playing lately and how I've been changing up my play style to to better suit Lucas and I want to show y'all how I've been playing lately and I feel like it's kind of different than what most people play like also like the video like it right now like what are you doing um so right here I've been learning that I think with Lucas you just need to be way more patient because what I used to do is go in with all these aerials and like try to hit, keep on hitting people's shield and getting punished for doing rising aerials on shield because you'll do the aerial on the shield so much and then you want to just hurry up and throw out another one and then you get punished. But um, I've been trying to be more patient and more like fading back with my aerials and stuff like that to better suit the way Lucas is. Right there I tried to test out if Magnet was going to confirm into grab and it did. It did. Um, also disregard that first stock. I don't know what he was doing. Another thing I noticed is that these Kazuyas, they're so patient. Right now, they might change up their playstyle. The character only been out for like two days. So, sitting here waiting. Um, PK Freeze there. I'm trying to figure out how to edge guard Kazuya because that double jump seems so long and then the up B is extremely long so they can just recover high and I'm trying to figure out how to beat that. So I, I feel like what's different for me is my use of Magnet. I think it's the thing that makes me feel like I'm doing something new, like that's good for Lucas. It's like punishing all the options, stalling my attacks in the air, doing different attacks, doing short hops magnet uh aerials like i did right there um also back here i really like back here now i used to not use it as much but now i use it a lot i knew he was going to air dodge in i've seen a lot of kazuya do it so i was just going to test to see if he was going to do it. uh the up smash in no way near even touch the shield i wanted to break his shield right here but he reacted fast. Right there. Did y'all see that? I actually did that by accident. Now I kind of want to test that out. Like all the options with it. Because I'm pretty sure I could have caught just tech in place. And you know miss tech. And also probably tech roll outward. So I want to check that out. And plus I could have probably four smashed him after. I really, need to, I really need to study that. So that's one of my next things I'm going to study. I try to back here on there. Also, that 10 head combo is so fake. Just just SDI. So right now I'm stalling my attacks with Magnet and Zare to see if I can get a confirming. I had got one, but I didn't right there. Use Magnet on his shield. And uh, he was in the lag of that move, so I just hit him. Alright, so there is one more I want to show you guys. Now, I have two reasons why this match is very important for just the Lucas meta in general. Um, first off, Magnet on shields. And then y'all gonna also see like a ledge trap that I've been doing that's kind of been making the Palutena matchup a lot easier for me and also like a lot of characters that teleport but I used it in this matchup because sometimes it's good when they don't know what's coming um down smash there I I hate that because I feel like I can't beat out that move for nothing I'm kind of scared of it a little bit Again, um, following that same principle I talked about earlier, just be patient, chill. Like he getting his attacks, I don't care. I already, I'm just like, you just gotta sit there and be like, what is my opponent gonna do? So that way you could beat the interactions later on in the match. It doesn't matter if he's getting attacks on you. 
just check out and see like what is he doing in neutral what is he doing in advanced stage all that crap i'm like okay i'm still gonna win this match he hit me but i'm still gonna win so i'm learning that he's using his uh neutral b a lot um watch this i'm 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 telling you guys i'm i'm getting data right now see see what i mean so i noticed that he started using it a lot at certain angles so i'm already using magnet before he even like you know use the move also another thing and you can approach for magnet you just have to buffer it in your uh short hop i use the l button for it like that. i mean you're gonna get hit by something because he's right there so what i did was i'm I buffered because on on shorter characters, the magnet does not connect with their shield if you just do a normal short hop and then you magnet. So when it's short characters, you have to buffer magnet and it'll hit their shield, and then that next attack is most likely going to come out before any other attack in the game. Stuff like Game and Watch, Game and Watch probably can just he can just use his up B, and you can use air dodge. Air dodge is like frame one after magnet i think but it's i, I already tested this on uh training mode soon as he uses up but you can air dodge away after using magnet on their shield so i was ready for that one as well started to notice that he also blocks a lot when i do certain attacks on his shield waiting it out a little bit knew he was gonna do that another thing Zare oh Zare is just good man for like getting attacks in like and retreating with Zare um just getting safe aerials in is good sometimes you don't have to hit their shield with magnet I mean after you do a after you do Magnet Air, you don't have to come down with it. I decided I did not to do a CD he was going to do, and I saw that he tried to up smash me. So I wanted to check and see, because I noticed that before he tried to up smash me when I Magnet his shield. Sometimes when you do approach with Magnet, you got to be careful because he can just dash attack you out of it. See? He does the up smash every time I do something like that. Yeah, he got me with that. If up here had a disjoint, man, that would have worked. But it don't, so. I know, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm angry about the buffs, man. No buffs. Alright, so right now, I'm about to show y'all. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this already. But Lucas can just instantly get on the ledge. And that's what I'm about to do in this clip. I'm about to instantly snap onto the ledge and basically can do whatever I want to him afterwards. He, he doesn't know I'm about to do it though. So I finished him off like that. See, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of people need to start doing that as well, especially on characters who can like use teleports and all that. Just make them scared of just coming back on the stage. And I feel like that's important for Lucas as well. So I feel like I showed y'all a lot, but I think I want to show y'all one more match. Because I saw something. A match that will be really good to show. So. One of the things that uh, my brother had told me was like. Um, I didn't know that when you grab him. You can get him out of the uh, the uh, rage. Whatever he got. This, the counter thing. Um, so. I started like really utilizing that. Just keeping them off the ledge. I thought I had him there. I've always like feel like I spaced that one. I thought he was gonna jump immediately, but he didn't. Still got him though. I still remember parts of this. A lot of people get caught by that, man. I just laugh. I 
I messed up and I don't know why I messed up. Usually that gets people and get more damage for me. But um I didn't get him right there because he rolled in. I'm just taking my time. Waiting for him to do an attack on me. Right there I stalled my uh my um attack with magnet. I guess he tried to up beat there, but he didn't misinput it. I wanted to see what he was going to do if I magnet it right there. See if he's going to... There you go. I got him. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that now. I started doing... Um, I started doing fair right there more because a lot of people don't air dodge back to the stage like some other people. So it's either down smash or I'm gonna come down with an arrow. Right there, um, that's what I'm talking about right there. Once you get in their shield broke down, this is where Lucas shines. I think even if he would have tried to block that, he has such low shield that it was gonna work regardless. So that's what I'm saying, like, it's so much, it's so good just just to, like, break down people's shield, use magnet on their shield up till afterwards to shield poke them and then keep on doing the things that you need to do. Up smash, everything, because once they land on a platform, what they gonna do, block and break their shield? No, they're gonna take the up smash. So after that, you could down smash their shield too, and that's gonna poke as well. Anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, I'll see you guys in another video.